Hello and welcome to Call Your Damn Jets. Uh, today I have another video ranting against Google. Um, I've recently decided to switch over my home network to uh, Ubiquiti equipment. Uh, I may have a video about that later. Uh, but right now I want to uh, uh, bash Google again. Uh, they've made it very, very difficult if you already have a bunch of devices that are already connected to a network to switch them, all of them, over to a different network. I've had to do it in a very piecemeal way. I started with uh, like the, the assistant devices, so the Google Mini, Google Home, Google Displays, uh, Google Max we also have in the house. Um, and uh, I quickly, quickly realized that with the method that Google gave me, there was only um, one way to do it, and it was going device by device. Uh, and for some reason, the, the Google displays, well, not the display that I have in my office, which is an older version, but in the bedroom, we have two um, second generation, I think, or the newer generation. I don't remember. I have lost count of generations. We have one of the newer generation displays, and those devices require you to be there and uh, scan the QR code that it displays on the device, whereas the one in my office doesn't require that. But it was painful, you know, I had to go through all the house and go to all the displays um, to switch them over and uh, make sure that my phone could see them. Um, then I tried to switch over uh, the Nest Protex. And right now I have to tell you that my opinion of the Nest Protect, Nest Protect has uh, taken a nosedive. Um, I may need to, to go back and do some editing on my previous, um, video about the protect where I was giving two thumbs up because at this moment, my opinion is, uh, try to find something else because for some reason, uh, I've went online and I read the instructions about how to switch over to the, to another network and it did not work. It does not work. When it tries to connect to my device, it gives me an error. The error number is opaque to me. Google puts it in a large bucket of error numbers and says, if you get one of those errors, you should do this and that. And it does start about reconstructing your house, basically. You know, it's hyperbole, but that's what they're doing. Like, oh, you have to reset this and reset that and reset it. And, 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 and they don't know what's going on. They're just throwing stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And maybe eventually you're going to do something like you reset your computer and then it resets a program that is running on the computer and then it solves the problem. But in my case, I've followed some of that advice and it didn't do anything. I'm still unable to connect my phone to uh, my devices. Uh, and right now, I mean, I, I'm what I'm probably going to have to do is like, reset them and reinstall everything. And this is ridiculous. This is a huge pain in the ass. When you've customized a bunch of devices to your liking and the solution is, well, we're going to forget about all of that and you're going to have to start from scratch. Uh, which is what happened with my indoor Nest camera. I have, I, I ordered one of the new generation cameras, which is indoor. And uh, for that device, there was no option to just move my device to a different network. I had to remove it from the network and re-add it. And when I did that, it completely reset its preferences and everything. I don't, I don't know if it reset the history. I have no idea about that. I didn't even go check the history. Not, is, I don't care that much about the history of that camera, so it doesn't really matter to me. But I've noticed now I was getting notifications about this and that that I didn't get before. And the only reason I can see is because I've removed it from my network. It reset and it reset all my preferences also. And now we're starting from scratch. And it's probably going to be the same thing with an S product. Um, the only Google device that switched over to the new network fairly painlessly, and I'm saying this in 
Now, it was painless, generally speaking, and also in comparison with the other Google devices, um, is the Hello Doorbell that we have in front of the house. Uh, and it was uh, very easy to move over. And I just gave it the new network name and it connected to the new network and everything was fine. Everything else in the Google universe should be exactly like that. You know, they know already where the device is, they know the name, they know it exists. Um, there are capabilities in those devices to create a wireless network to configure it. Why, why can't they all work the same way as the Hello Bell? I don't get it. Uh, another thing that I, oh, that I discovered, I forgot about that. Another thing that I discovered about moving displays between network is that I did the, the bed, the, the two in the bedroom, I did them yesterday. And then when I went at night uh, to um, get into my pajamas, the um, both devices were showing a QR code again and they couldn't connect to the network. And they were stuck in some sort of loop. And there was nothing for me to do. I, there was nothing on my home screen when I looked at my phone. Um, so what I did for both of the devices is that I, I did the power cycle. I unpowered them and then reattached the power to them. And then they were fine. Why did they go into this kind of bizarro mode where they couldn't connect to the network and they I don't know what to do I don't know what to do the information was all there I just power cycled them and then it was fixed um so yeah that that adds to my general displeasure with google devices and right now the only two devices that I can say you you should they're okay as the phones themselves and and I'm not saying that the phones don't have problems uh, but I've been relatively satisfied with my phone and I think phones in general all of them do have problems so I don't think that my phone has more problems than any other phone um, but I cannot really vouch for that because you know I don't have iPhones for instance so I cannot compare the two um, and the Chromebook. The Chromebook, my Chromebook experience has been fine most of the time. There are some annoyances again, but it's on par with all other computers. Uh, but really, it, it boggles my mind what the engineers at Google are thinking when they construct those devices. Like, for instance, changing the Nest product from one network to another, I've seen the Post that people were post posting when that feature was introduced. So when you were buying the initial devices and you were, you know, putting them into your house, at first you couldn't even contemplate sw just switching the network. Yeah, I guess at the time you had to remove it from the house and then re-add it under a different network. And I, I explained before that's nonsense because you're losing all your preferences when you do that. Uh, and and I just I I don't get it. It's like the the Google engineers they don't go through scenarios and think about how are people going to use these things. It's like what if they upgrade their network in the house? And I've had devices and and I realized that because I was moving from network to network. I had the new network and I had an old network that were different SSIDs. I decided to create a new SSID for the new network because among other things. I wanted to change my uh, network key. And at first, at some point, I thought I could have the two networks on the Ubiquiti equipment, but I was not able to do it because Ubiquiti has a stupid limitation. But anyway, uh, I, I realized that my phone was not on the right network relative to the devices, and then I had to, to switch that over. But at the same time, I was thinking okay, I'm able to fix this problem and that problem because I can get back on the same network. You know, I, I was very glad that I didn't make the decision, like, I'm just going to thrash the old network and throw the hardware away. I'm not going to throw anything away, but, you know, to just destroy the old network and then put the new one on because I had to go back to the old network a bunch of times to get things fixed. Um, and that's a problem because... 
for some people, they're not gonna they're not gonna have access to the old network and the old SSID. If I were a, a student living, uh, you know, a, for graduate students can live in a house. You know, I was a graduate student and I was living in a house. So if you live in a house and you have a lot of devices, you know, if you just have one device, I guess you just remove it and re-add it. But you have a bunch of devices and you do not have access to the the old network because maybe something broke your old router uh, and you don't want to buy a new router just to recreate the old network but you want to move to a completely different thing then you kind of paint yourself in a corner when you don't have the old network at hand to be able to do the migration as Google ima imagines it. Google should imagine that people at some point in their life, they're going to have the device, they're going to be in a situation where the device was configured for a network to which they no longer have access to, and they just need to change the SSID and uh, the password. And oh, also an another thing, another problem that I noticed with uh, Google is that for some of my migrations, uh, it was taking the the information from my phone. So it was saying which new network do you want to put it on and it would give me the list of networks it saw around me and I picked the network I wanted and it said, okay, the key is going to be automatically transmitted to the device and I didn't have to put in a key. But I noticed uh, when I was trying to move over the Nest Protects devices, they didn't work at all that way. They asked me, they were, they, there was one time where I almost did it. There was one time where the error came after I selected the network. So I was able to select a network. And then once I selected the network, it was asking for the key. Now, because I've taken the old network offline, I know that I'm going to have to, um, uh, you know, take the devices out of our home and re add them and have to recreate all the, stupid preferences that I've set already but hey we're in this world where you have to redo the same thing 10 times over before it works and Google thinks that this is business as usual it's nonsense so yeah this was my rant against Google and I guess I'll see you in another episode